Hello, my name's Kirsty from Rhubarb Theatre and today I'm going to tell you a story. My story today starts in a deep, dark wood. But I wonder who we'll find in this wood. Maybe there'll be a little mouse with tiny ears and little toes and lovely long whiskers at the end of his nose. Bing, 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 bing. Are we going to see you? We're walking today. Oh, or maybe we're going to see a sly old fox with pointy ears, pew, pew, a pointy nose, pew, a pointy cheek, and a very bushy tail. Oh, or maybe we're going to see something with knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous <laughs> but no 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 because today we are going deep 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 into the woods and there we find a village and in the village there is a pretty little cottage and in the cottage <laughs> There's a pretty kitchen. And in the kitchen, a mummy and her daughter are baking cakes. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. I baked a cake, baked a cake. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. Ba -doo, ba -ba -doo, ba -ba -doo. I need to put some flour in my cake. In my Achoo! <coughs> Yes, I need to put some flour in my cake. Boop -a -doo, boop -boop -a -doo. I need to put an egg in my cake. In my cake. In my cake. I need to ooh, put cake in my egg. Ooh, do, 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 do. And I need to put some berries in my cake. And some sugar in my cake. And some smellies in my cake. Smellies? Not smelly socks. Ooh. Then I need to give a stir to my cake and put it in the oven to bing. <sighs> I think they're ready. Oh, hello everybody. If I knew you lot were coming today, me and my daughter, Little Red, would have baked many more cakes, wouldn't we, Little Red? Mm-hmm. Well, we have been baking cakes for Granny, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Because Granny's not feeling very well today, is she? And so we're going to go to... Well, that's quite right. I did promise that, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I promised Little Red that she could go all on her own through the deep, dark wood to Granny's house. <sighs> so, um, before you go, though, Little Red, I think I need to give you a little warning. Don't leave the path when you're walking through the woods. Don't speak to strangers. Try to be good. Don't pick the flowers or stay up for hours. Mummy, please trust little Red Riding Hood. Granny's been ill, so please take care. Don't take hours in getting there. And then Mark be back before dark. Mummy, don't worry. I will take care. And so, I placed her little cloak of red around her shoulders and gave her the basket of cakes we had made, delicious cakes. <clears throat> and off she went down the path and into the deep, dark wood. Well, the woods slowly began to get darker. The trees became bigger and the path became thinner. And after a while, she came to a cross.
crossroads where a strange character was standing. Hello, little red. <laughs> where are you off to? What's that? You're going to your granny's house with those delicious looking cakes? Well, uh, you need to be going that way. Yeah, that's the quick way to Granny's house. Oh, oh, you're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. Bye. I just told a big fib. No wonder my nose is so long. <laughs> that's not the way to Granny's at all. It's that way. And I'm going to get there long before she does. Oh! Well, it wasn't long before the wolf reached Granny's house and knocked on her door. Hobby shit! <laughs> it's Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, <laughs> it's me, it's me. I brought you a basket of cakes, Granny. To make you feel better. Oh, open the door and let yourself in. <gasps> but when Granny saw the wolf, she knew something wasn't quite right. Hello, Granny. I'm going to eat your head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I'm sorry, I'm a bit deaf. Could you repeat that? I said, hello, Granny, I'm going to eat your head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. It's no good. I'm really deaf this morning. Do you think you could sing it a bit louder? Do you think... You could all join in so Granny can hear. Are we ready? On three. One, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh, I heard you that time. Oh, that's lovely. That oh, oh. And with one bite, the wolf had eaten Granny. Whoa, that was nice, a bit chewy. But I've still got room for dessert. And hopefully, it won't be long before she's on her way. <laughs> well, meanwhile, deep in the woods, Poor little Red Riding Hood was having a terrible time for the path that the wolf had sent her on was full of prickles and thistles and, and nettles. Ooh! And so, by the time she'd fought her way through and got to Granny's house, she wasn't feeling at all happy. Meanwhile, the wolf was getting himself ready. <laughs> she uh, put a bit of uh, Granny's uh, clothes on. Oh, I bet I look just like a oh, wait, wait. Oh, granny glasses are here. And, and, oh, just, uh, look, there I look just like her. Oh, and I think I can hear a knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? It's Little Red Riding Hood. I've got some cakes for your granny. <coughs> Let yourself in and come to the bed. <laughs> but 
when Little Red Riding Hood let herself in and came on over, she could see that something wasn't quite right with Granny. Granny, what big eyes you've got. Well, it's the glasses. It's the glasses. It's the glasses, yes. <laughs> and all the better to see you with. But Granny, what a big nose you've got. Why? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all the better to smell you with, my dear. But Granny, what? You've got all the better to eat you in what idea. But before the wolf could eat Little Red Riding Hood, the clever miss grabbed a cake from out of her basket and shoved it in the wolf's mouth. <coughs> and truth be told, Little Red Riding Hood and her mother were not very good cooks, and so the cakes were a little dry. <coughs> the wolf began to choke. <coughs> and cough, <coughs> and with one enormous <coughs> out came Granny. <coughs> yuck, yuck. And Granny wasn't happy. Granny looked at the wolf. She grabbed hold of her duster. And she chased the wolf all around the house. Oh, you naughty thing! You naughty thing! Oh, 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 oh! You naughty thing! You naughty thing! Oh, 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 oh! Get out of me! Get out of me! Ah! The wolf ran out of the kitchen, through the path, down into the woods, and was never seen of again. Actually, that's not quite true, because I believe he made trouble for three little pigs later that day. But that's another story for another day.